powered by the Montana Television Network. The 5.30 News continues on Montana's News Leader. Every day there's something new and interesting going on at the Montana State Fair. MTN's Josh Many went to the sheep competition and weaving wool department to watch the age-old process of turning wool fiber into fabric. Paulette Buckner started raising Jacob sheep in Melstone, Montana four years ago. Jacob sheep are a small heritage breed that Buckner says are primitive, like they're from the wild. The main reason I got into the sheep, the Jacob sheep, was for their fiber and for the meat, uh, but also they produce horns, which biblically were the trumpets in the Old Testament were made from goat and sheep horns. Buckner submitted three of her sheep's fleeces to the Montana State Fair's weaving and wool department. About 40 fleeces from a variety of sheep breeds were submitted for judging by local wool experts at the weaving and wool department at the Montana State Fair. The exhibit offers demonstrations on spinning, weaving, and showcases work done by some of the best fiber artists in Montana. The raw fleeces are processed through different traditional means to be ready for the next phase. The spinning process turns it into yarn or thread. The, after it has been made into yarn or thread, it is then put on a weaving loom and made into fabric. Folks can look at all the different raw fleeces, observe the spinning and weaving, and then take in all the beautiful fiber pieces crafted by Montana artisans. The original spinning was done with a stick and a rock just that simple. All you have to do is twist. And it's been done since the beginning of time. Organizers say oftentimes when people appear to be allergic to wool, it's the harsh chemicals added to the fabric during the mass manufacturing process that causes the allergic reaction. The traditional form of wool fabric making practiced by the Spinners and Weaving Guild uses the old way of processing that does not require chemicals. In Great Falls, Josh Many, MTN News.